Hi, I'm Kelsey Brennan Wessels, and you are watching Earth from Space on the European Space Agency Web TV. This image from Korea's CompSat 2 satellite, acquired on February 8th of 2013, shows an area in the southern Darfur region of Sudan, just south of the city of Niala. The Wadi Niala flows diagonally across the image, surrounded by agricultural plots. Above it, we can see the straight line of the railway. The city of Niala to the northwest, which is not pictured, was formerly a nomadic camp, but experienced a boom in commercial activity with the arrival of the railway in the 1950s. The population further increased as people moved to the town during times of drought and conflict. Satellite images can assist in identifying water resources and aid sustainable growth of urban areas. During times of conflict, they can also be used to find suitable locations for refugee camps by identifying where water and other resources are available, as well as suitable terrain. In the upper left section of this image, we can see thousands of small structures of the Kalma camp, housing tens of thousands of internally displaced people who have fled the Darfur conflict. As the war in Darfur continues, so do the hardships in the camp. Kalma saw a recent outbreak in hepatitis, claiming an estimated 150 lives and infecting another 500 people. Last month, violence broke out between security forces and camp residents protesting raids by the government forces. A number of protesters were killed in the skirmish. And that brings us to the end of this edition of Earth from Space. Remember that we broadcast online every Friday at 10 o'clock Central European Summer Time. Watch us on our website or through the ESA app on your mobile device. From the ESA Web TV studios, I'm Kelsey Brennan-Wessels.